Hey there. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw Batman from Young Justice. So we're going to start at the top of our page and we're going to start with his eyes. And so simply all they are are just angles going from the center, going to the outside. We're going to go to the left side and do the same thing. Now we're going to go back left and right just so that we get a right, the right balance between the both sizes. So we'll go back to the right side. We're going to draw a line that goes horizontal along the bottom and then angles right up to that corner. We'll do the same thing on the left side. So we're going to try to keep this design quite simple. Okay, so now that we have the eyes, we're going to locate the center of the face, come down a little bit, and draw a point. This is for the center of his nose, or the mask that goes down to the point. From this center, I'm going to do a diagonal line, or an ang angled line, out to the side, under the eye. And I'll do the same thing on the left side. Now below each line, I'm just going to draw a little bit of an angle coming slightly in. And from here, I'm going to go straight down to his jaw on both sides. So we're just going to come down a little bit. We can adjust the length if we need to later. And from here, I'm going to draw the mouth. So below this nose point, I'm going to draw a point. And then from that point, I'm just going to angle upwards on both sides. And then come down on both sides at the end. This is for the mouth. And then just below that mouth, I'm just going to draw a straight line across. Now we're going to come down and just try to locate the bottom of the chin. So he's got a pretty deep chin. So right about here, I'm going to draw a horizontal line going across. And then from the ends, I'm going to go in an angle out to the side of his head and just crossing that line so on both sides. So, and if I need to, I can go back and lengthen that line on the sides of this mask. Okay, from here, on either side, I'm just going to come down below that jawline and then draw a line that goes straight up on the side of his mask. So starting at the bottom here, I'm going to go straight up on the left and right side both. I'll go straight up. And then from here, I'm going to draw his ears. So here, I'm going to go pretty high up here. So as I'm coming up, I'm going to angle in. So I'm going to curve in towards the center slightly. And then from here, I'm going to curve back in towards center. So it kind of gets goes to a point and then comes back out at the at the bottom here. And then right here I'm just going to connect the two with an overlapping curve. Kind of like so. And I'm not going to connect the ends. Okay, so there's a little bit of a gap here. And from here I'm going to go down to the neck. And below this chin, I'm just going to draw two diagonal lines coming in towards each other. This is for the throat. And then from this point, I'm going to draw two angled lines. So one going out towards the shoulders on both sides. Now from here, he's got this big long cape, or the shoulder part of his cape. So I'm going to come out quite a bit to the tip of his shoulders. And I'm going to curve a line in towards center. So it's kind of coming in at an angle. And I'll do the same thing on the right side. So just making, get, getting uh, a good balance between the two. So I want to make sure that this length is the same as the one on the right. And from here, on this point, I'm going to curve the outer part of the shoulders. And come up here and locate the center. So it's slightly upper, up from where this line is. So right about here, I'm going to draw a point, And then I connect that point to the ends with an angled line. On both sides. Now from here, I'm going to draw a bit of his chest. So this is where the outer part of his arms are. I'm going to sort of locate where the chest would be. So right about here, I'm going to curve two lines going outwards. From here, I'll take this point and locate the center part of his chest. So right about here, I'll keep my finger here, draw an angled line going in on both sides, and then curving up. And I'm not going to touch the center, so I'm just going to leave a gap there in the, in the middle of his chest. Now we can go in and draw the, uh, the uh, symbol, the bat symbol in the center if we want to right now. So let's go up here. In between, I'm just going to draw a straight line down. This is going to split the chest. But now this makes it easier for me to draw the left side first and then replicate that on the right. So here I'm going to take this top point and curve up to the outside and go straight down. From here I'm going to curve up to the top point of the wing and then curve down to the outer part of the wing. So from here I'm going to draw a curve and come to a point and then go up and come all the way down to that point. Now all I have to do is mirror that on the other side. So going up on one side and down. Curving all the way up, so I just want to make sure that I'm looking back and forth to make sure I have the right shape and the same size. Coming down to the tip of the wing here, curving to that point, and then curving all the way down to here. 
And all I have to do is go in and color that bat black. Now for those that are joining us for the first time, I'm using a Sharpie fine point marker to do all my drawings and my lessons. You can find them at any stationery store. So there we go. And I'm going to go in and just sort of touch up the points, just to make them a little bit sharper. Like so, and there we have it. So there's the bat. Let's go up to the arms. So I'm going to draw the arms first before I get into the, the rest of the body and the legs. So here on the shoulder, I'm going to curve in. Okay, so this is the point in the shoulder that meets the arm. So from this point, I'm going to go straight up into that chest point. Let's go to the right and do the exact same thing. So curving in and then connecting to that point in that chest. Let's go back out here. So I'm going to come down a little bit and curve to where the elbow would be. Come in here. So around this point in the chest, I'm going to draw a straight line down and I'm going to curve in towards the elbow. From here, I'll take this point, curve. I'm going to draw an angle in. I'll go across and I'll connect up to that bicep. Let's do the same thing here. So I'm going to go up here curve towards the elbow. Up here in the bicep, I'm going to go straight and curve in and come down with a straight line across and then up into that back of the arm. Okay, so now let's go up to the forearm. So here at this point where I just connected that back of the arm, start there and I come all the way down. So curving all the way down to the knuckles. Over here, I'm going to go to that point where the bicep meets the elbow, come out in an angle. I'll curve in towards the forearm, the lower forearm, and go straight into the wrist. I'm going to draw an angled line out to the thumb, and then draw a little part for this part of the thumb here. I'm going to draw an overlap. So drawing an overlap, and coming out. Now this is where I just want to draw one, two, three humps. So these are the knuckles. Okay, so I don't need to draw all of them, just want to draw a few bumps there. And then along here, I'm just going to draw curve just to separate the glove. Let's go and do that same thing on the uh, right side. So right here, I'm going to draw angle out, curve this in, and then straight line to the wrist. Up here, I'm going to curve all the way down to the knuckles. Here, I'm going to draw the, this part of the thumb and come down an angle. And then now I'm going to draw a line in and overlap down to the finger, come across, and then draw a couple bumps for the back of the knuckle. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw a curve to separate the glove. Let's get into the body now. So here, I'm gonna draw a straight line going down the middle of the stomach. So right about here, I'm gonna come down and stop where I think where the waist would be. So right about here. Okay, so then I'm gonna go up to the sides of his uh, back and draw a curve on both sides, going to where the waist would be. From here, I'm gonna go straight down on both sides. From here, I'm just going to connect these two points with a curved line, like so. Now I can draw a little bit of detail in his chest or in his stomach. So I'm going to come down at the point, bottom point of the chest, I'm going to angle in and come straight down on both sides. Here I can just draw a curve just to give a little bit of rib detail. And then I'm going to draw a little bit of detail on the sides here. So right about here where this point is, I'm going to draw an angled line and angled line and connect those two points. And then I'm going to go in and color that in, fill it in. I'll do the exact same thing lower with a shorter line and color that in. Let's do the same thing on this side. So two angled lines out, connected, and then filled in. Then down here, two angled lines, two short lines, connected, and then filled in. Let's get down to the belt. So here, right where this line is, I'm going to extend that down on both sides. From here, I'll do a, a short line going out and then down. And connect these two points with a curved line on both sides. From this point, I'm going to curve down and go straight across. Down, straight across. This is for the belt, utility belt. And along here, I'm going to connect, I'm just going to come up a little bit and draw a curve to connect the two pouches. Come down on both sides 
and then just angle the ends in. Okay. Back here, I'm just going to do an overlap. So I'm going to come out, come down, and then straight in. Out, down, straight in. Almost like outlining that pouch on the, both sides. All right, now let's get into the legs. Right about here where the waist comes down, I'm going to draw a straight line down on both sides. Very short lines. Then I curve down on both sides towards the center and then do a straight line across. Okay, so from here, I'm going to take this point and draw a line to the back of his legs. So straight line to the back of his legs. I'll make this one a little bit longer. From here, I'm going to draw a curve that goes all the way out to the knees. So this is where his knees would be. This is where his feet would be. So here, here I'm going to go up in an angle, across, down in an angle, and straight across. I'll do the exact same thing on the side. Come up, across, and then down. Here in the front, I'm going to come down and do the mirrored. So this basically flipped over here. Come down in an angle, across, and then up. Now here, in the back of the leg, I'm going to come out in an angle. So just curving out for the back of the calf. And from this point, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction to the back of the heels. Okay, so this is where the heels would be. So that's his feet. At the front, I'll take that same point and go out in a diagonal line. From here, I'm going to curve in towards the shin. And then I'm going to curve out. Now, I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because I want to leave some space for the feet. From here on the heel, I'm going to go straight down across in an angle. I'm going to do an overlap. So here I'll go and overlap a line and then curve towards the toe on both sides. On the front, I'm just going to curve up two short lines. Now connect this to the front of the shin with an upward curve. And at the front here, I'm just going to draw a curve that goes up and then down again. So you see I'll do it in reverse here. And then in the front here, I'm going to draw a line that angles up into the center of that kneecap and it curves down. Center kneecap curves down. Now, what's left is the cape. So I'm going to imagine from the shoulders, the line of the cape comes down to right about here. So I'm going to take this line and draw a straight line down. This line, I'll go straight down. From this point, I'm going to curve towards the feet. And then from that point, I'm just going to taper into where that hand is. So kind of like this, two lines. And then from here, I'll come up here and curve down. Here, I'll curve down. And then right about here, I'll just do a curved arch. And I think that's it. There we have it. There is Batman from Young Justice. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please tell your friends, get them to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.